I hope this finds everyone well. Uh, my name is Kevin Kaplan. I'm an orthopedic surgeon at the Jacksonville Orthopedic Institute in Jacksonville, Florida, and head team physician for the Jacksonville Jaguars. During this difficult time, we're all trying to protect each other and protect ourselves against the virus. And one of the main recommendations is to wear a mask. Uh, I wear a mask seeing patients in my office uh, and even around town, and the masks really, they're not that comfortable. The, the fabric is itchy. Uh, the masks don't fit as well as they should. Uh, and a lot of times I find myself doing the one thing that I'm not supposed to do, and that's reach up to touch my face and mask to adjust it to get it to sit better. Uh, I've been fortunate enough to work with Diana Hall, who's the founder and creator of Active Armor. Uh, she's been helping with me, me with my professional athletes and my regular patients, creating custom fit 3D printed casts for both upper and lower extremity injuries. Uh, and she saw a major need for protection and created a custom active armor face mask. Uh, and it accomplishes a lot of the goals for what I'm looking for in a mask. Uh, it's anatomically contra to my face. Uh, it has two replaceable filters, one on each side, and they filter out about 98 to 99% of particulates, and they're washable, they're reusable, uh, and uh, they're clear in the middle. So patients can actually interact with me and see my face, and that has a, a tremendous benefit for the hearing impaired as well. Uh, so here's my mask. Uh, it's very lightweight. It's only about a half of a millimeter thick. Uh, and as you can see, the contours are designed specifically for my face. So we have a scanner in my office downstairs in physical therapy. It took about 10 seconds to, to create the scan. Uh, but if you go on their website, they, they have a way, there's a scanner that you can actually put on uh, any iPad type device uh, and that can actually create a scan out of your face right at, right at your home. Uh, but we have the scanner downstairs uh, and they were able to send Diana uh, my face scan and then they created me uh, this mask. You can see it has two filters, one on each side. Uh, and the mask really is, even without the straps, it fits perfectly to my face. But obviously to create the seal, and the seal obviously is the most important thing to protect against the virus, uh, you really do need, need these straps, which are easily adjustable, uh, and it helps the, the mask to create that perfect seal. Uh, so you know, once I get the mask on, the important thing is to find the sweet spot because it is because all the contours to my face are, are anatomically designed. So once I put it on, it's easy to put on, put the straps over my face, find the sweet spot, and then I do a seal test to cover up the holes, and if no air is able to get in, then you know you have the perfect seal. You can see that my mouth is still, still able to move, the mask still is sealed around the top, all the sides, and even on the bottom, so nothing can get in other than through these filters. And the filters are really easy to get out. So this is just another mask that I have, and you can see the filter pops right out of the mask, uh, and you can reuse these filters, uh, you can put them aside. Um, you know, we know that the bacteria only lasts on surfaces for about five days. So if you put this aside in a bag or a plastic bag, let it sit for five days, the virus will then not be able to live on that surface. In the meantime, you could pop in another filter and the filter pops right back into the mask. Just like that. And then there you go. You can wash your mask off. You can sterilize this mask. Uh, and I really uh, am, am happy with the way it feels and the way it fits. So uh, check out activearmor.com. It's A-C-T-I-V-A-R-M-O-R.com. Uh, and Diana Hall and team, thank you very much for getting me this mask uh, for what I consider is a game changer in this fight. I hope everybody stays safe uh, and have a great day.